cargo friends it's Anna here I've got my tea I have my tarot cards and we are looking at the month of August for you I found this spread on Pinterest it's where I often find my spreads <laughs> Uh, and it's for the month ahead. So basically what it says is the theme of the month. What to avoid, embrace, evaluate, let go of, grow, action to take, and then the goal for the month. Um, so I've been doing this one and so far they've been really insightful, I think. Um, the draws just make a lot of sense. So, uh... Hopefully it does the same for you, my Virgo friends. So let's have a look here for you. So what I've been doing with the other ones is shuffling a buttload, cutting to get the theme of the month, and then drawing the other seven out randomly. So that's what we shall do. Uh, is that the theme of the month? I'm just not even gonna... When I was doing Leo's, it did the same thing. And... Right. There's a random telemarketer trying to call me from Burlington right now. <laughs> I'm not buying it. Go away. <laughs> All right. For our Virgo friends, the month of August 2021. All right. Let's do this, my friends. Let's do this. So, what to avoid? Which is ironic since, you know, you're picking out a card for something to avoid. Uh, what to embrace? Well, it's you. Um, what to evaluate? in this mess. What to let go of. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put this one over there and perhaps take those. Just because that was Okay, we'll put this one with it anyways. I might not actually read that one with it, but it was the catalyst to those two coming out. Um, what to grow. What action to take. Ooh, that one tickled my fan. And the goal for the month. theme of the month and the goal, I think they go together really nicely. We've got Death and Ace of Pentacles. That's pretty sweet. There's nothing wrong with the Death card, people. Everyone gets, like, super freaked out about it, but it's just a ending and new beginning, okay? That's it. That's all. So my Virgo friends, theme of the month, a new beginning, the ending of something though, right? Um, so big changes, big endings, uh, a time to move on, a time to move forward, to let the past go, right? Rebirth, transformation, that's what death is. So I like that theme. 
you know, out with the old and with the new. Let's carry it through the whole reading. So, to avoid temperance reversed. Uh, temperance reversed is a disruptive energy, okay? Normally temperance is all about balance, right? Um, but this reversal makes that balance disrupted, right? Um, so, you know, chaos could ensue, excess, all the things that aren't good for you in some way, shape, or form that will bring you out of balance um, or out of control, right? Because when you have things nicely balanced, you feel good. And then when, when you're off, then everything is just chaos, right? So avoid the chaos, okay? Avoid the disruptive energy. Avoid anything in excess this month, okay, Virgo? Because you don't want that. You, you don't want to feel out of control, right? Fine, fine, it's fine if you've got, like, a night of drinking with your buddies or whatever, but your friends, but you don't want that feeling all the time. Embrace this. And that is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who is super reliable, super patient, and very hardworking. Right? He looks like he's probably got everything in his backpack there that he could need for that long trek or long, long haul in front of him. That's somebody you want in your encampment who will help you along the way. So if there's a reliable person in your life, if there's a reliability about you, then you want to embrace that. You know, some people, some people look at reliable people and they think, oh, they're just like a stick in the mud. But when it all comes down to it and they need something, that person is always there for them. So if you are that reliable person, then don't change. Embrace who you are you know, the, the right people for you, your tribe, they will find you. Don't worry about that. Okay. Evaluate this. And we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is all about, um, you know, lifestyle change, fast talking, kind of almost like cutthroat, right? Um, this card reminds me of like, Archangel Michael, right? He's got his sword at the ready, and if you need to cut anything out of your life, you just ask him to help you out, and that sword just will slice and dice. So, perhaps look at what you are cutting out. Perhaps look at what you are being... Um, that cutthroat with you know perhaps choose your words carefully right fast talking person sometimes you don't you speak you don't think before you speak and they just come out and you can hurt someone so perhaps reevaluate your words before you let them escape right okay let go of this now the Queen of Cups hit these cards. So she hit these cards out. They were all upright. I'm just going to put her over here for now. Because I don't think you would want to let go of the Queen of Cups. She's a very nurturing person, a healer, a very supportive person to have on your team, right? So I don't think you'd want to let go of that. But I do think that she was the catalyst to the actual answer. Um which is the Four of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords um, is about retreating and resting and renewing, uh, looking for solitude and recovery. Okay, the Seven of Swords is all about deceit and theft, dishonesty, betrayal, um, you know, running away. So I think that deceit and the running away is what you actually need to let go of. Um, because you need to rest and renew yourself, right? 
and perhaps this is just saying that you need to do it uh, you need that rest and relaxation that renewal to be of your emotions not necessarily your physical self um, I'm almost getting a I, I want to ask you Virgo is, what is it you're lying to yourself about because I feel like that you know if we bring that Queen of Cups into play I feel like that Seven of Swords that betrayal is to yourself right and that you're tired you're tired of the lies you're tired of the deceit you're tired of the you know sometimes the hardest person to lie to is yourself you can't get away from you it's in your head constantly right so just stop just stop get that rest get that relaxation nurture yourself Okay, let this deceit go. Let the dishonesty go. Admit it to yourself, whatever it is you need to. Admit it to yourself. And then recuperate. Grow this. Nine of Wands reversed. So the Nine of Wands is normally about um, persistence, boundaries, things like that. Um, reverse, though... Um, can indicate almost uh, a defensiveness. So yes, you have those boundaries, but now you feel like you're a little anxious about them. Um, perhaps, perhaps your boundaries have kept you isolated, and this reversal is the the ending of that isolation, right? you're being dishonest with yourself about something the fewer people you keep around so the more people you isolate from the better or the easier it's going to be for you because you um you won't have anybody to explain it to right just yourself you're the only one that you would have to have to give any explanation to so i think what you have to grow is perhaps the end of that isolation so let someone in right have some faith don't get defensive that never got anybody anything good right um yeah have faith let someone in end that isolation stop lying to yourself so that you can start being honest with yourself and the people around you right all right action to take eight of cups so whatever decision you have to make um just walk away from it whatever's whatever's going on whatever everything's getting too complicated um you just need to withdraw you need to take take a little bit of a break <clears throat> um and i know i just said let people in um, but that's what you need to grow over the course of the month, right? Um, this is the action to take. And, and the Eight of Cups is, is, yes, it's about withdrawal and retreat. It's also about moving on, though, and abandonment. So maybe you're abandoning the way things were. Maybe you're abandoning a way of life with yourself. Maybe you're abandoning the lies that you tell yourself, right? And the goal for your month, the Ace of Pentacles. And the Aces are all about new beginnings, which, you know, which is why I was so jazzed about this Death Cart being the theme of the month, because it's rebirth, right? And to start with an Ace, it's all about new beginnings. And so it could be a new job, um, a raise or a promotion in a current job, um, some kind of new income or investment though, it's financial gain either way right so but whatever lies or deceits going on you need to walk away from being that way all right my friends i hope this finds you well my virgos enjoy your month and we will talk to you soon bye for now